Welcome fellow artists to Lyricology 101. I still don't got my channel back, y'all. But we back again with another one. We got a track from my man Jay Cedric. Wow. All right, Letter to America. This one I've thoroughly enjoyed. I mean, my man really put down the work on this one. The rhyme schemes, the the just the effort overall on this track is something quite remarkable. He sounds a lot like some of my favorite artists, man. So yeah, shout out to Jay, man. This one's really, really good. I don't want to hype him up. Just listen to my man. If you guys are interested in getting your song broken down in a similar fashion, hit up your boy Lyricology 101, mail at gmail.com. Please add the mail. And if you want to hit me up anywhere else, you can hit me up at Lyricology 101 on Instagram. All right. Much love to you guys. Let's get this ball rolling. Let's go. Jay Cedric, Letter to America. Oh, yes, passings remain the same. Children born. With no last names. As if there's one in love. What is to become of thee? And it's supposed to be our country. America. <laughs> Okay. Not surprised we desensitized at this moment. Tragic. We all witnessed what happened in Minnesota. Captured for the world to see purposefully murdered to the first degree. Reminds me how they aim for our next, make it hurt to breathe. All right. So right off the bat, we get a cool, just a smooth opening, right? So right now we're at the we're at the introduction, the bridge into the song, right? What I want you guys to focus on, if you see gray, it's a flow. If you see color, it's a rhyme. And in this case, man, yo, my dude got the flow game down. He's, he knows how to bracket his syllables. Everything is going to be pocketed perfectly. I didn't have to struggle with this one at all. <laughs> and then on top of that, uh, my brother, man, he, he's just really, really talented at internals. Um, I do get some hints of like a Kendrick style, uh, some other hints from M to even Daylight sometimes. Um, just some really talented work with the rhymes. But let's keep it going, man. So desensitize at this moment. Tragic. We all witnessed what happened in Minnesota. Captured. So desensitized at this moment. That's a seven syllable move, baby. That's a seven syllable cadence. It's not a seven syllable rhyme, but the flow is there. It's a seven syllable flow. It's just how the words are bracketed together. So desensitized at this moment. What happened in Minnesota, right? And then the tragic and captured is is, is actually a, a Kendrick move too. He's rolling the tragic and the captured uh, just one moment past the bar line. So we're going to run it back. You want to hear the bars? Let's go. Not surprised we desensitized at this moment. Tragic. We all witnessed what happened in Minnesota. Capture. So you get me? So capture and tragic are in their own individual pocket. It's like its own little flow. And then for the world to see, purposely murder to the first degree, make it hurt to breathe, right? So that's a six, I think, for the world to see. Yeah, six syllables, six syllable swing, six syllable flow. My man is very talented. Capture. For the world to see, purposely murder to the first degree. Reminds me how they aim for it next, make it hurt to breathe. Look at that. For the world to see purposely murder to the first degree reminds me how they aim to make, oh wait, they aim for our next to make it hurt to breathe. The connections here are crazy and it's sad because we haven't even gotten to the rhyming yet. He's going to be rhyming later. So what's my man talking about though? Not surprised we desensitized at this moment. All right, so he's not surprised. Desensitized at this moment early on, he was already talking about just a struggle. Uh, of course, we're going to be leading into kind of a BLM, Black Lives Matter type of situation. He's going to be referencing George Floyd. That's where we go all the way down at the end for aim for our next hurt to breathe. We're already on the George Floyd conversation. Has this moment. Tragic. We all witness what happened in Minnesota. All right. So look, tragic. Uh, he's not surprised he's desensitized because he don't feel nothing about it. It's another loss, another black tragedy, another loss of a black life. We all witnessed what happened in Minnesota, captured for the world to see, right? Because we watched it on camera, purposely murdered for the, to the first degree. And there is some speculation that it was a purposeful murder. Uh, reminds me how they aim for our necks, makes it hurt to breathe. So we got a double there with, you know, playing on how we're not even able to speak, how they aim for our necks, and how George Floyd was killed uh, simply by being strangled. Incredible stuff. Not surprised we desensitized at this moment. Tragic. We all witnessed what happened in Minnesota. Captured for the world to see purposefully murdered to the first degree. Reminds me how they aim for our next, make it hurt to breathe. I guess social media and all I see is riots. Evil trying to win versus skin. Innocent people dying. In a sense, we stand up, put us back in a sin style. But in a sense, you see Abraham back against being biased. Look at these freaking rhymes. <laughs> And all I see is riots. So we got a six syllable flow, six syllable cadence, six syllable pocket. All right. So, and all I see is riots, innocent people dying, back in a sitting style, back against being biased. 
Nothing about the virus lead us into lead us in the blindness. Right. Nothing about the virus lead us in the blindness. All six syllable swings. He's anchored to riots, dying, style, bias, virus, blindness, cycle, recycle. But the internals are just like, what the fuck, bro? Just the internal game is out of here, man. So let's try to run it back. I'm, I don't want to go through all the syllables, but that's like the nerdiest part of this shit. But let's do it. So the it sound is nasty, right? Social media and all I see is riots, Evo trying to win versus skin, innocent people dying. So we got the O and the it sound playing with each other. In a sense, we stand up, put us back in a sitting style. But in a sense, you see Abraham back against being biased. Look at that shit, man. And style has been bent to rhyme with virus, bias, and dying. <laughs> Syllable game, baby. Yeah. I guess social media and all I see is riots. Evil trying to win versus skin. Innocent people dying. In a sense, we stand up, put us back in a sitting style. But in a sense, you see Abraham back against being biased. Tell me something else. I ain't heard nothing about the virus. Since the crisis had to distract us and lead us into blindness. Listen to th just the how smooth the pockets run and how every little these just small little internalized moments man since this crisis had to distract us and lead us in the blindness so he's like got three different internal triple syllable rhymes or some shit like what are you doing dog this shit is fun man so since this crisis had to distract us and lead us in the blindness and then you write this word that we fighting for. He's going to change his, his whole rhyme style. It's kind of sound kind of akin to an Eminem type of situation. <laughs> All right, so you write this war that we fight in port, right? So war and part have been bent really well. You fight this war that we fight in port of a vicious cycle. Been around since you could remember history being recycled. So um, you write this war, four syllables. We fight in port, uh, we fight in port, vicious cycle, and been around since are all four syllable pockets, swings, flows. I want y'all to understand flows now because y'all don't know rhymes. Flows is what these cats is doing. All right, so you write this word that we fight in four of a vicious cycle, been around since. So it's all four syllable swings and pockets. And then he breaks the pocket, you know, and just kind of does his own shit, but it works. You could remember history being recycled, right? And recycled is just an additional syllable that breaks like this perfect locked in pocket he has, but it's, it's stylish. It sounds like some Kendrick shit, so it's really good. What's my man talking about, though? All right, so, you know, this is post the George Floyd situation, so we do have the riots going on after George Floyd. All right, so evil trying to win versus skin, innocent people dying. So I got a, a lot of perspective off of evil trying to win versus skin, right? So uh, demons trying to win versus humans, right? Evil trying to win versus sin. I thought, or skin, skin made me think of human beings and then evil just making me think of something outside of human beings. But then I got another layer of uh, the perception of what a white person would see a black man as, and it would be evil. Evil trying to win versus skin, I thought uh, an affiliation of skinheads perhaps. But I saw the white and black back and forth. Evil trying to win versus skin, innocent people dying because of this dumb few that we have in the riots. Innocence, and we're going to get three plays off of innocent, three homonyms, or homophones, my bad. Uh, innocent people dying, innocence, we stand up, put us back in a sitting style. So when we stand up, try to speak for our people, they sit us right back down. But in a cent, that's money, you see Abraham back against being biased, right? So we have Abraham on the money, it's in a cent. So really good play on innocent, innocence, and innocent. Really good. Tell me something. I ain't heard nothing about the virus, and I'll run into that. So tell me something. I ain't heard nothing about the virus since this crisis, which is the George Floyd situation, had to distract us and lead us in the blindness, meaning we didn't see this, this whole virus situation coming because we were distracted by this black and white evil trying to win versus skin situation. Once again, just distracted with feuding, right? Lead us in the blindness. You write this word to be fighting part of a vicious cycle. Been around since you can remember history being recycled. All right, don't sleep. He did something nice here. 
you write this war that we fighting for, right? So I heard two plays. I heard you write this war like y'all made the wars, right? And then you write this war, meaning you justify it and make it right. You say that it is right. So you write this war, which is the race war he's talking about. So you write this war that we fight in part of a vicious cycle. But look, he go, he's going to do something. Watch this. Part of a vicious cycle been around since you could remember history being recycle. So he said, vicious cycle. We're watching history do the cycle again. So it is recycled. So two plays and two uses of cycle. He used the first cycle and then he used cycle again with the word recycle. I'm not gassing. Dude knows what he's doing. He's really nice. Here's another layer though. You write this war that we, uh, we fight in part of a vicious cycle. So I got the vision of somebody arcing to the right and drawing a circle, right? So you write this war that we fight in part of a vicious cycle. So if you keep going right, you're just going to keep perpetually going into a loop. Been around, right? If you keep that motion going, since you could remember history being recycled. So been around is also a play on time. Just the whole concept. This couplet here, fucking smooth, man. Nice. <laughs> Stunt, my man just stunted on y'all. All right, so this is an example of a stunt. What is a stunt? I have the hardest time explaining it to people sometimes. It simply is you anchor an idea on a rhyme and then you dance around the individual syllables in a word, right? Or any similar sounds and you play with them out of order for a while, for about a bar or two, even breaking the bar line and then landing right back on where you originally started. So just to utilize being brutalized, revolutionizing, right? Those, that's the anchor of the flow. And what he's going to do is he's just like, there's no bar line. <laughs> We're just not going to even run with the bar line, right? So we can get anchored to just to utilize being brutalized, revolutionizing, right? Just to utilize his five syllables. And that's the anchor. Um, but really, he's going off the three syllable utilized, brutalized, scrutinized, um, and then revolutionized. And then he's going to do more off of the same rhyme, right? Doing crime, two collide, two combine. He's going to keep playing off of that. But I want you guys to hear this anchor on this stunt. The stunt is crazy, right? So use the you just to utilize any truth they can hide, and yet we get goose scrutinized from being brutalized. So the any truth they can hide, he breaks the utilized perfect rhyme, right? Utilize is three syllables. Truth can hide is a perfect three, but he had to add they. So truth they can hide, it breaks the flow. But now that he's off the bar line, he's going to just play with the internals. And yet we get goof scrutinized from being brutalized. Plus the police proof because they shoot minority groups, but surprised that we started looting. They scared of us revolutionizing. I'm going to run it back and let him spit it. It's really elaborate, y'all. <laughs> That, yo, chef's kiss, son. Pause. Really good, man. Uh, the internals themselves, man, the O sound is really what we're like sliding off of. Pause. Use, I'm oh, sorry, the U sound. Use the U just to utilize any truth they can hide. And yet we get goofed, scrutinized from being brutalized. He's really anchoring on that U sound. Plus the police proof because they shoot minority groups. But you know what I'm saying? Looting. They scared of us revolutionizing, right? Now let's get to this next flow. Is He's going to still be anchored on that. Um, on the end rhyme and that that concept he's doing, but he's still doing new internal rhymes. So you hear what he's doing. All right, so race is doing crime. Five syllable pocket, five syllable swing. It's not an exact rhyme. Race is doing time when the two collide, when the two combine, we two different minds. All five syllables, but he's it's the pocket that you hear. But the main rhyme is uh I mean, I'm, well, or doing crime, two collide, two combine, and then different minds. But all of the syllable pieces are all there. That's why I call it a stunt. So something that I observe both races doing crime, but crazy thing is we unify when the two collide. You see the plan is to bait us when the two combine, dehumanize one another, we two different minds. So the E sound is really nice, but he's anchoring that O really well too. 
I sound weird t- explaining syllables, but if y'all rapping, you know what it is, man. The dude is a talent, man. So what's my dude talking about? <laughs> All right, so they use the youth to perpetuate these these conflicts and these fights between different races, um, just to leave y'all in ignorance, right? So they're using the youth, and what does the youth know? I mean, they might utilize social media more than an older generation, so they use the youth just to utilize any truth they can hide, right? So just to keep them lying. Um, and he didn't say they use the youth that's a youth of lie, just a, a, a rule of lies or a cruel lies or something. He, he went any truth they can hide. I like that. And yet we get goofed, scrutinized. So you get pranked. And yet we get goofed, scrutinized for being brutalized. And the brutalization comes from the ignorance of expressing yourself and, and explaining a lie. So you're getting brutalized from how ignorant you look or even being brutalized for trying to uh, support BLM and then have a whole fleet of white people try to take you down, right? So it's just a back and forth on both ends. All right, so and plus the police proof. I I, I don't know if I, I don't change the like the letters. Whenever I do y'all songs, I do my best not to change your words. Y'all might be rhyming phonetically or you guys might be uh, writing like misspelling words to make wordplay work so i don't touch them so plus the police prove i thought might have been proved but i just kept it there plus the police prove because they shoot minority groups but surprised that we started looting right so how are y'all upset that y'all are like how are the police surprised that we as a group are retaliating for the actions that have taken place against our people um and plus the police are absolute proof that they'll kill a man because we have evidence with george floyd very good then with the looting, they're just scared of us revolutionizing because we might take them down with numbers alone. <laughs> and remember, we're still talking about the riots of George Floyd, so the looting is in connection. <laughs> All right, so when I was checking this one, I was like, oh, he's talking about the riot. So something that I observed, both races doing crime, right? The, the idea was they're rioting, everybody's rioting, everybody's fighting. White people are hurting uh, black people, black people are hurting white people, black people robbing white people, white people robbing black people in, in regards to looting and rioting, okay? So if they're both doing crime, the crazy thing is we unify when the two collide, right? So the riot is people are unified in this whole calamity. So I thought that was very interesting. You see the plan is to bait us when the two combine, dehumanize one another because we two different minds. Because, I mean, we're two different species, black and white, right? We're all the same at the end of the day. But you see where I'm coming from. Run it back. So I didn't know if the bait us when the two combine dehumanize. I thought it was like fishing us out of it, right? Dehumanize one another because we two different minds. And then the dehumanization comes from, well, my perspective says that you're not human or, or my perspective says you ain't the true man, right? And on their perspective, they're saying I'm not the true man. So we just on the same shit. We all, and the riot to me symbolizes just the calamity and confusion of this race shit, man. I love it, man. Really, really, really love this shit, man. <laughs> All right, so, all right, he, he has two different flows going, but it's still off of the same rhyme, right? So we're going off of um, different time, pick a signs, pick a side, bend disguise, right? But through cohesive lines, be on different time. That's a five syllable swing, five syllable pocket. Then he's gonna switch out of that five and go three on it, right? So through cohesive lines, be on different time. We decide to protest, but no press, uh, no progress with these picket signs. So white on black or black or white, what you want to do is pick a side. The ill advice happened not to see the tactics that's been disguised. So he's just anchored on the three. Then he's gonna throw another three in there, which is martial law, which is still in that three syllable pocket, you feel me? And then he's gonna switch it and go for the two. Your point, your voice. George Floyd, right? And it sounds kind of like Kendrick. It's real dope. Um, but up here, man, he, he's acting crazy, man. The O sound is nasty. And I, I was like, it's like trying to explain this nigga's crazy. <laughs> Hope one day we can cooperate through cohesive lines. So here it lies the battle we face and must be on different time. We decide to protest, but no progress with these picket signs. So white on black or black on white want you to pick a side. So that O sound is just slapping you back and forth real fast. Real smooth. <laughs> Uh, we decide to protest, but no progress for these picket signs. So, black, black, on 
So Cedric, what's your point? I push it when you use your voice. At that point, we're all being George Floyd. Nice. Why push it when using your voice? At that point, we're all being George Floyd, right? Pretty close in, in, in the alignment, but it's not a full sentence uh, pocket or a full sentence flow. My man knows what he's doing, though. He's very good with it. Um, also, the illest vibes happen to not see tactics that been disguised. So happen, tactics, that been are all stringed together. He's doing these crazy strung together rhymes, man. It's very good. Now, day and cooperate and face, that's really temporary. That's like, that's fast. But everything connecting in the way that it does, he just, it just makes his flow sound immaculate. Um, as far as this one, though, I feel like he slowed it down for us to get an opportunity to like breathe and then just. I think that Kendrick moment, right? You know, it's just your point, your voice, George Floyd gives us space to breathe, uh, gives us a moment to actually take in all the lyrics so far. So really dope, man. But what's my man's talking about, though? One day we can cooperate through cohesive lines. All right, so one day we could cooperate through cohesive lines. I thought seeing parallel, right? Uh, lines working together. Um, but then I also thought, you know, lifetimes or timelines, right? So, you know, as a as a Black individual, I've lived my own path of life and you as a white individual have lived your own path of life and we haven't seen things in the same way because our paths are not similar. But with this riot and this George Floyd situation, maybe we can come together and get to the solution, make these lines cohesive, which goes into the following line. So here it lies, the battle we facing must be on different time, right? So the lies, I, I'm, I'm gonna call them out on this. So here it lies, the battle we facing, right? I believe he's talking about the Battle of Lies, <laughs> the Battle of Lies from 1918, um, which was just World War One, right? Which was just, okay. So I wouldn't have caught lies if I didn't read the lyric, right? I wouldn't have even attached the concept if I didn't see it spelled that way. So I just, you know, small stuff. But run it all. Let's run it back. <laughs> So the, here it lies, the battle we facing must be on different time because World War I was in the past. So cohesive lines, I thought a timeline must be on different time, two different lines. So here it lies, the battle we facing must be on different time, which is in reference to the battle of lies. <laughs> Uh, you're in college, I'm sure. We decided to protest, but no progress with these picket signs. So white on black or black or white. I want you to pick a side. So the picket signs and the pick a side, of course, is a great play. A good association here and there. But I thought the white on black and the black on white was in reference to what the picket sign would look like. You would write, uh, you could write white on a black surface or you could write white black on a white surface like a picket sign so that's what i was looking at just the visual of holding up a picket sign really good so yeah so white on black or black on white the, the surface level is black or white what you doing right but the deeper level i feel like it's in relation to the actual picket signs having information on them. <laughs> All right, so the ill-advised happened to Nazi tactics that's been disguised, right? Which is just the concept that they're playing everybody against each other, right? Um, so see, not to see tactics that's been disguised as America's flaws, which would be just the conflict within America, right? Bound to cause new war order or martial law because of the riots and the calamity of this race war shit that we're still doing, right? So Cedric, what's your point, which is they, Jay Cedric, our artist? Why push it when uh, when you use your voice? Get it? Push it when you use your voice. At that point, we're all being George Floyd because the officer applied pressure on his neck. So... Another stunt. All right, so once again, <laughs> this stunt is uh, we're going to be anchored on the, I think it's five, wrong, it gets more ugly, six, six syllable thing, wrong, it gets more ugly by the more money, right? Uh, on by the more money, sorry, wrong, it gets more ugly on by the more money. I, I missed the word on, but yeah, six syllable swing, it sounds great. Now, what he's going to do is just break the bar line all the way till he lands on wrong, it gets more ugly. Then he's going to do it again, and he's going to break the bar line one more time until he lands back on by the more money. So it's anchored very well. It sounds great. Check all these internals, man. He's, he's working, man. Boy, 
emotion focused on war with devoted more of its approval which color wrong it gets more ugly cause did you know it was all just a metaphor for the ever poor being forced to be carried on by the more money and now that or sound, the O sound, I blended the O and the or sound and just gave them red. I gave them the same color because they're so close uh, phonetically. It just sounds great. So void of any, any emotion. I want to go through every syllable, but I can't. That's too nerdy. Void of any emotion, focus on war. We're devoted more, we're devoted more into proving which color wrong. It gets more ugly. Cause did you know it was all just a metaphor and he, and he hangs on it. It's all just a metaphor for the ever poor being forced to be carried on by more money. The O is crazy. The O and the O R sounds great. We're going to back. Void of any emotion focused on war. We're devoted more into proving which color wrong. It gets more ugly. Cause did you know it was all just a metaphor for the ever poor being forced to be carried on by the more money. A man had so to control the globe with his bare hands, posted motives for mayhem, loaded folks on coast to leave it. Going to the soul, these folks to show we are vocal. They took our folks off a boat, and years later they made us vote for a mogul just to promote policemen. All right, another stunt. Totally destroyed the bar line. All right, so look, we anchored just like Wrong gets more ugly by the uh, owned by the more money, right? Uh, going coastal even just to prom uh, to promote policemen. So going coastal even to promote policemen. These are the anchors. These are the moments that you should pay attention to. So going coastal even is 100% on the beat. And then all of this going toe to toe with these foes to show we vocal. They all this is off off the bar line until he lands right back to promote policemen. And it lands right back on the beat. I'm gonna run the whole scheme back. This shit is beautiful, man. It's really good. And the O sound, the O and the R sound is so heavily accented. It just, it sounds excellent. Run it. Void of any emotion focused on war with devoted more of its approval, which color wrong, it gets more ugly. Cause did you know it was all just a metaphor for the ever poor being forced to be carried on by the more money a man has to sold to control the globe with his bare hands, posted motives for mayhem, loaded folks on coast to leave it. Going to the clothes, these folks to show we are vocal. They took our folks off a boat and years later they made us vote for a mogul just to promote policemen. Nice. Just. That's very daylight. That's a daylight move. Daylight does shit like that. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, a little quick flow here too. Globe with his bare hands, uh, motives for mayhem, right? Um, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it's a five-syllable uh, swing. It's not a full rhyme, but he still bracketed everything perfect. It's all matched syllable-wise. So um, solely the globe, control the globe with his bare hands, posted motives for mayhem. Sounds great. And then loaded folks going coastal even. And then that's where we get ready for the next stunt. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these folks to show with vocal. They took our folks off a boat and years later, they made us vote for a mogul just to promote policemen. Ugh, just so many, so many beautiful rhymes, man. So posted, motives, loaded, folks going, coastal, <laughs> going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. So all that's connected with these folks to show we are vocal. With uh, They took our folks off a boat and years later, they made us just a quick internal for no reason. Us vote for a mogul just to promote policemen. Provoking locals, and he just keeps going with more rhymes. But before we keep going, what's my <laughs> man talking about, though? Void of any emotion focused on war, devoted more its approval, which color wrong, it gets more ugly. All right, so void of emotion, I'm focused on war. The war is the, just, you know, the internalization of this whole thing and just witnessing the George Floyd event, being present in it and, and experiencing this pain. It's a war. We're devoted more into proving which color wrong, right? So, of course, still in the race concept, but it is true. It's just like we're pointing fingers in, in the wrong directions. It gets more ugly, right? So we're getting killings, fighting, uh, just destruction overall, right? Because uh, did you know it was all just a metaphor for the ever poor being forced to carry on by the more money? Now, the more money is the richer, right? I, I, of course, rich people, right? But I don't know why I hear more like M-O-O-R, right? For the black money. So because did you know it was all just a metaphor for the ever poor, right? The, like the the broke for the ever poor, forever broke, <laughs> for the ever poor being forced to be carried on by the more money, right? A man has and he rolls off. So the more money a man has is the bigger picture. But the more money, I don't know why I just kept rolling on that over and over. I mean, it's about black and white conflict. So I don't know why the more money worked for me. But then again, the rich as well. A man has to solely control the globe with his bare hands, right? Because if you're rich, you'll do whatever you want. to so And then, of course, ever poor people are usually black. So a man has to solely control the globe with his bare hands, posted motives for mayhem, gloated folks going coastal even. So posted motives for mayhem is simply, uh, you know, uh, filming this whole riot situation and making it look fun. You know, people doing it wrong. Posted motives for mayhem, even tweeting about doing things wrong. Just being a, a bad individual because you have so much money, right? Loaded folks going coastal even. So I thought loaded folks were going wherever they wanted to. 
Coastal is like back and forth on each edge, right? So they can just be in balance if they wanted to. Um, going toe to toe with these foes, the foes being the richer or the the um, you know the ones that was solely control the globe. Going toe to toe with these foes to show we are vocal that they took our folks off a boat and years later they made us vote for a mogul. So they took our folks off a boat. We were referencing slavery. Then years later they made us vote for a mogul, which is a reference to Trump, just to promote policemen, which would be people that would take black people down. So th it's a completely disgusting, unfair game. Provoking locals, and then he's just going to eat y'all up. Devoid of any emotion, focused on war, or devoted more into proving which color wrong, it gets more ugly. Because did you know it was all just a metaphor for the ever poor being forced to be carried on by the more money a man has, to solely control the globe with his bare hands, posted motives for mayhem, loaded folks on coast, and even going toe to toe with these folks to show we are vocal. They took our folks off a of boat, and years later they made us vote for a mogul just to promote policemen. Yeah. Provoking locals, peaceful protests were engrossed to see boast about making no. Achievements towards the nation, towards people. It's been the Masons getting the police, but you'll never know they negotiate those agreements. Know the rabbit hole just deepens, it deepens. I just see it makes sense with the condition. Don't think let me paint this. All right, so he's anchored on the four. He's still going off the rhyme scheme before if you're hearing it. So no achievements. Remember, go off of the flow. It's not all rhyme. So no achievements towards the nation, nor his people. Um, all four syllable swing. Police butchel. Those agreement, know the rabbit, hold just deepens, how you see it. All four syllable swings, pockets, sounds great. But what is like, look at this, man. Peaceful protests were engrossing as he boasts about making no achievements towards the nation nor his people. It's been the Masons getting the, getting, wait, I'm trying to get the it, it matches. It's been the Masons getting the police, but you'll never know they negotiate those agreements. Man, it's just, ugh. It's everywhere. There's a rhyme everywhere you look. Those agreements, know the rabbit hole just deepens. So we're anchoring the O sound again because we're still using the O sound from previous. Um, those agreements, know the rabbit hole just deepens. It depends on how you see it, right? And then he's going to change the flow. Makes sense. We've been conditioned. Don't think. Let me paint this, right? Listen to how well he just organizes the internals. It's almost like a flurry of sound. Peaceful protests were engrossed as he boasts about making no achievements towards the nation, nor its people. It's been the Masons getting the police, but you'll never know they negotiate those agreements. Know the rabbit hole just deepens, it deepens. How you see it makes sense with the condition. Don't think, let me paint this. Ah, nice man. But what's my man talking about, though? <laughs> local peaceful protests were engrossed as he boasts about making no achievements towards the nation, nor its people. All right, so provoking, provoking people, peaceful protests we're engrossed in. <laughs> peaceful protest we're engrossed as he boasts about making no about so we're talking about how he's not getting anything done right towards the nation nor his people right it's been the masons getting the police but you'll never know they negotiate those agreements so it's just an internalized like government play hating on the government i'm not saying he's hating on the government i'm just saying he's calling out the government for these actions right it's been the masons getting the police but you'll never know they negotiate those agreements know the rabbit hole just deepens because he's talking about how how this could actually get that deep know the rabbit hole just deepens it depends on how you see it we got a double play for deepens and deepens really really quick really fast know the rabbit hole just deepens it depends on how you see it makes sense we've been conditioned don't think let me paint this right so he's painting the image through the music we've been conditioned don't think right when you when you're conditioned your thought process has been altered so don't think let me paint this pay attention to this image right really dope really dope Know the rabbit hole just deepens, brother. Restores the nation, know its people. It's been the Masons getting the police, but you'll never know they negotiate those agreements. Know the rabbit hole just deepens, it deepens. I just see it makes sense with the condition. Don't think, let me paint this. Uh, I didn't know if the make sense was also in relation to money or payment. See, it makes sense with the condition. Don't think, let me paint this. Like the whites make the vanquish. Hundred years with a fake ish. Shame we have to use slavery as an excuse to be racist. All right, so uh, I think that's all. That's all. The whole thing. Fight the whites, make them vanquish. That's seven. And I think he does a seven syllable pocket all three times. Fight the whites, make them vanquish. Hundred years worth of fake ish as an excuse, as an excuse to be racist, right? Or as an excuse to be racist. Um, I know my shit. The syllables are perfect. So fight the whites, make them vanquish. Hundred years worth of fake ish as an excuse to be racist. I believe how he has them bracketed. Then he's gonna switch the flow up to to the uh, four. All lies matter. Poor lies blacker. Then he's gonna land on the two crackers, Malcolm, and it's, and it's it's a rap. It's a rap. Slavery is an excuse to be racist. Now it never fully will be all lives matter. You realize in the lower class, the whole lives blacker. For all you know, the cops that kill the borderline crackers. What's your part in history? Nice. 
Yeah, let's run that though. So fight the whites, make them make them vanquish, right? So make them vanquish. He's just he's playing off the same two back and forth really fast. Fight the whites, make them vanquish, uh, van make them vanquish. Hundred years worth of fake ish shame. We have to use slavery as an excuse to be racist. Just very smooth, very smooth, man, very smooth. So now it never will fully be. Now it will never fully, like, fully will be, right? So he bent full and will to sound exactly the same. So it's the it sound. So it will never fully, it ne so it never fully will be all lives matter till you realize in the lower class, the poor lives blacker. Really dope, man. The internals are smooth, man. So what's my man talking about, though? Let me paint this. Fight the whites, make the vanquish. Hundred years with a fake-ish. Shame we have to use slavery as an excuse to be racist. All right, so fight the whites, make them vanquish, 100 years of worth of fake-ish. Now, fight the whites, make them vanquish, right? That's just a, a, a statement that I believe is just perspective, right? Fight the whites, make them vanquish, 100 years worth of fake-ish. I, I believe even just making referencing to the past not mattering. Uh, history being a lie, history being altered, perhaps, something along that line. 100 years work of fate-ish, shame we have to use slavery as an excuse to be racist, right? Like, that's the only reason we can make that move, right? To be racist, now it never fully will be all lives matter. So you realize the lower class, the whole lives blacker. So, all lives matter to the poor lives blacker. I know that poor lives blacker, he's just essentially saying lower class individuals, most more, more minorities than usual are black people. Poor people usually are aligned with black people. I hate saying that out loud. That's horrifying. <laughs> but anyway, all lives matter. I feel like he's saying it's not all lives matter because the perspective that they're sharing is limited, especially if you're saying all lives matter and you are excluding a team of people. There you go. So now it would never fully be all lives matter because of the, the previous plays till you realize in the lower class, poor lives blacker, right? Of course, in the lower class, most individuals, like I mentioned before, are struggling. They're African-American, bro. So I feel like he was speaking for George and every individual in this alignment. And for all you know, the cops that kill are borderline crackers. Now, once again, I didn't change the lyrics, so I don't know if he was doing plays on words and he didn't change it. But I thought, it just sounds like to me, for all you know, that cops that kill are borderline crackers. That's what I thought he was saying. Like, white, the only cops that kill are white cops. But I think for all those that know the cops that kill are borderline, crack us, break us into pieces, right? So a borderline is, is is the wall that we set up to prevent people from getting in. And once they break that borderline, they break us, they crack us. It, it cracks the armor, it chisels the armor, you feel me? And then what part? what's your part in history? Are you a Martin or Malcolm, right? I, I, I respect them both highly. It don't matter which one you pick. Let's get it. Nice, Jay, man. That's, that's really dope, man. That's really dope. All right, let's go. Oh, we, we're, we're running up to the outro, man. But yeah, what are y'all, Martin or Malcolm, man? I went to Morehouse, so I might be aligned to Malcolm because, I mean, or I might be aligned to Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King went to Morehouse. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny. I've seen the I've seen the lyrics are changed on on the outro, so I was right. The cops that kill are borderline crackers. There we go. That's hilarious. Right. Ah. Yes, sir. My man, Jay. Cedric. <laughs> Shout out to you, brother. Uh, yeah, man. Excellent song, dude. It's really, it's it's one of these tracks that does remind me uh, of a balance of a daylight <laughs> and a Kendrick. Um, I, I just, it's, it reminds me of it. it. I'm not saying he is them. I'm just saying it gets me into that mindset. And uh, I think it's really good, man. As far as the polish and, and just his delivery, I didn't really talk about his delivery. His delivery is excellent. Um, the way he runs the doubles, the, the quality of the production is there, man. The beat is excellent. The vibe is there. Uh, to me, it just gave me this rumbling intensity inside. Pause. And it was just really a, a, a very powerful experience. 
So yeah. So yeah. Shout out to Jay, man. Much love to you, brother. I appreciate you, man. This this shit hit, man. This one was good. This one was really good. This uh, this has been a better one than I've gotten in a while. <laughs> so I'm very happy uh, to get something from this level, man. You you actually talking about something that that matters to me that I resonate with personally. Um, it wasn't just a lyrical exhibition. He really wanted to speak to the people, man. So yeah, if you guys are interested in getting your song broken down in a similar fashion, man, hit up your boy at Lyricology 101 <laughs> Mail. <laughs> at gmail.com please don't forget the mail um or hit me up at lyricology 101 on instagram um i i gotta get on twitter and threads man i haven't been using these things at all man uh we've just been had a lot of trans uh, transitions recently um but yeah there's more to come guys we love you we love you we working for y'all we still here for y'all we care about y'all if you got a breakdown with your boys coming give me a little more time as for anybody else that's interested hit your boy up we got more in store. Much love to you guys. My name is Andre Gaynor. This has been Lyricology 101. And don't forget where the art is. Peace.